بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام علیکم ہائی گائز ویلکم ٹو انادر نالج شیئرنگ ویڈیو ریلیٹڈ ٹو کے جی ایل ونڈ سافٹ ویئر اینڈ ماسٹر کے پی ایل سی ان دس ویڈیو آئی ول ڈسکس ہاؤ ٹو ایگزیکیوٹ ایمرجنسی شٹ ڈاؤن اور فیل سیف سیکوینس ان کے جی ایل ونڈ سافٹ ویئر بفور اسٹارٹنگ دس ویڈیو اف یو ڈونٹ نو ہاؤ ٹو کنیکٹ کے جی ایل ون ود ماسٹر کے پی ایل سی دین آئی ول ریکمینڈ ٹو واچ ماسٹر کے ون ٹوینٹی ایس پی ایل سی پارٹ ون وچ از ریلیٹڈ ٹو کنیکشن اپلوڈ اینڈ مانیٹر and if you don't know how to perform forcing or simulation in kgl win then it is better to watch master k 120s plc part 2 related to forcing and simulation with kgl win if you know about both these methods then hope you will enjoy this video okay come back to topic as you know the one of most important task of logic designer is to ensure safe startup and shutdown of plant equipment and operators and ensure safe operation of plant to reduce hazards from system in any abnormality or failure in normal operation it is responsibility of logic to bring plant in safe condition in case of emergency stop emergency shutdown sequence should execute at high priority and bypass all other operation to stop plant immediately so to execute fail safe sequence according to priority level is primary responsibility of logic designer i will not discuss about the creation of fail safe or emergency logic i will only show you simple method to execute emergency stop or fail safe sequence in kgl win software for this purpose i will use mcs or master control sequence instruction conjunction with mcs clr or master control sequence clear instruction it means it will start with mcs and end with mcs clr If MCS instruction is off then whatever program written in between MCS and MCS CLR will remain inactive as you can see here MCS instruction is followed by zero and if you scroll down it is end with MCS CLR zero this zero represents the priority of the master control the range of priority is zero to seven MCS zero highest priority instruction and MCS seven is lowest priority instruction Remember MCS and MCS CLR instruction should be in pairs otherwise a program error occurs here i have created emergency stop program within MCS 0 and MCS CLR 0 you can see all input contacts of on delay timer T031 active but timer still inactive because MCS 0 instruction is still off due to input contact of M00A now i will turn on M00A it cannot be forced directly because it is contact of memory bit and in set forced io table there is no option to simulate memory contacts m00 is normally close contact and currently it is off so it means currently m00a output or relay is in on condition to go to the m00a output right click on m00a contact then go to device reference the device reference table will appear in this table you can see out instruction of m00a with 56 number 56 is step number where this instruction is written click on out it will jumps to m00a output you can see it is active now to deactivate i will force input p003 which is normally closed by forcing i will make it off for this purpose right click and go to set force io table click on p000 then check 3 in both enable and data column and click okay you can see it is off now and m00a output also off scroll down and see the status of m00a contact it is active now which switched on mcs instruction you can see on delay timer t031 contact is active now which switched on the p0050 output i will increase delay time of timer so you can easily observe the behavior of timer double click on timer instruction change delay time from 5 to 400 this will create 4 second delay in timer activation warning message will appear but don't worry click okay write program edit it to plc message will appear click yes now you can see timer is reset and started again if you want to know about timers ranges and their time boundaries then click on the parameter option and click on the basic tab here in time boundary section you can see timer ranges and timing unit in this case t031 comes under the range of 100 millisecond timer now come back to program you can see timer still running After 40 seconds timer T031 contact become active and switched on the P0050 output 
Now same way I will switch off MCS instruction by removing simulation of P0003 input. Right click on M00A contact. Click on out to move to M00A output. Then right click anywhere and go to set force IO table. Then click on P0003. Then uncheck 3 on both enable and data column and click OK. You can see MCS instruction is off now and timer T031 is also reset. Some important points keep in your mind. Whenever MCS instruction is switched off, then timer output contact will turn off and current value becomes zero. Same way, counter output contact will turn off, but current value hold the present value. All outputs turn off, set and reset instruction hold present value. You can use more than one MCS instructions, but MCS instruction will execute as per priority value. But write MCS and MCS CLR instructions in correct way. Otherwise, program will show error as you can see in this logic. You can use MCS instruction to create sequential logic to operate process in specific sequence, like to operate seawater intake bar screen and band screen system, or to control sequential logic of any batch process, and furthermore, depends upon your creative thinking. Okay, guys, hope you understand the purpose of master control sequence and it will help you to solve some of your critical logic tasks. Inshallah, see you in another knowledge sharing video. Till that time, Maas Salama, Allah Hafiz, bye bye.